Hey guys, Dan the Man here, and today we are gonna actually open this um, RTX 3070 graphics cards. This is the HP Omen uh, OEM uh, edition that comes inside the HP Omen case. In the past, I tried to modify the uh, memory pads on this thing, but it was not successful. So it's gonna be a mess in there. That's why I have some 99% uh, alcohol in here to clean it. And I've bought a better thermal paste, uh, thermal pad in here. Uh, this thing uh, supports about two millimeter of thermal pads. This is the Extreme Odyssey thermal pad. So it says thermal right. So it's supposed to be a pretty good actually thermal pad for this thing. So uh, not that the memory temperatures on this thing were too high, but uh, they were okay. I've replaced the thermal pads before actually. But they were like cheaper versions, which are which were not conductive enough. So I just want to put the best thing in there. Anyways, so first things first. To open it, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight screws holding uh, the heatsink area and the front shroud to the uh, PCB of the motherboard. First, I'm going to start with this one in there. Make sure you've got a screwdriver with you and uh, we don't need to detach the back plate which is plastic but we can do that too if that's something you, you guys want to see you know okay first screw out second screw out and third screw in the corner right there you guys can by the way skip all this you know uh, if you want to see what's gonna be in the end can skip all of this okay it's gonna be a mess in there and I don't care if you're gonna judge me <laughs> there's a lot of thermal paste in there because I tried to use a copper shield to mod it it, it was not successful you know like this uh, GPU die was not making contacts with the heat sink and uh, the temperatures were a little bit all of control so I had to just uh, dump in the cheap thermal pad I had in there so almost all the screws are out last one in there and they all look different, you know, like the fat ones, round ones are in the middle, the tiny ones there, the other normal ones there. So, yeah. And make sure once you're doing this with any GPU that you have, make sure you have some thermal paste around so that you can uh, repaste the die again once you clean it. And let's look at this thermal uh, pad. I've seen very good reviews. It's quite small, but you're not gonna need this is even a lot for this, you know, like there are like some memory chips here and there, that's it. Probably this much as it of it is gonna be used in there. So make sure you have a scissor later that you can cut this to the actual size that you're gonna need, you know, it's about two millimeter. Anyways, so you're gonna apply a little bit of pressure to get this thing open. Yes, it's open now. Don't immediately lift this because there is a cable, fan cable there. There we go. So this is the mess I was talking about. You know, you see that little bit of uh, thermal paste that's left there uh, from the mod that I was trying to do, but it's okay. We have alcohol in here and we're gonna clean it. So I'm gonna get rid of the old thermal pad that was here. I would probably reuse this and put them in the back to uh, give it a better Feeling. Okay, I'm gonna put these there. They just came off. These are not therm bad thermal pads, but they're just not good if you're mining or things like that. So the stock thermal pads were not really good. So they try to cheap out, you know, on whatever they can whenever possible. So I'm gonna clean this whole thing up with a toothbrush and 99% alcohol, which I bought. So first thing first, let's detach the fan. The fan's detached. I'm gonna put this there. This is easy to clean. And, uh, but if, if you want to like clean this thing, like uh, there are one, two, three, and four screws holding this thing together, this heat sink. So you could literally take the heat sink out and wash it and then dry it uh, and then clean the fans under it. But it's pretty clean. I mean, I don't really need to, I don't really see any dust in there. Minimal dust. But anyway, so I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to spray this thing and clean it. And it's going to be off camera because this is a little bit of a boring thing to do. As you can see, I'm just spraying it with a lot of alcohol. It's going to smell like alcohol in here. Anyways, 
And I'm going to use um, an old t-shirt of mine, which is cotton, to get rid of the leftover paste that's on top of the memory pads. They didn't have originally paste on them. It's just because I uh, used, uh, you know, basically a lot of thermal paste. Because I was modding this thing with uh, copper plates, that's why. When you're cleaning around, take your time. If it's your first time opening this thing, if you've not done mods like I did, then this, that thing's not going to be there. So I'm going to clean this and I'll come back. So here, as you can see, I have separated the back plate and I cleaned uh, the GP very well because there was a lot of thermal paste in there. Here is not going to be like that because you did not make a mess with your GP before. So here I have the thermal pads. I'm going to be measuring them. Let's say if they're this big. It's going to be the first cut and second cut. And I've made marks already there. You're going to cut them and to the relevant size and you're going to put it there. And I'll be back to you guys in a second once I'm done with this. So I've cut the thermal pads and I decided to not go for a square shape. Just to cover the whole thing truly. And I'm going to apply them and where they should be. Maybe not the best application, it fell there. Okay, I'll move it a little bit further up. So that's going to cover those two memory modules up there. Making sure the memory is covered perfectly. Okay, good. Nice, and I'm going to take the side of it off. And I'm going to try make sure it's going to cover the memory module as well yeah that's it and the other side i'm going to do the same thing making sure it's going to cover the memory module as well okay i've got this done very good so now what I'm going to do is, do I need to change this? No, this is still okay. This is an okay uh, pad right there. I'm going to put the back plate. To putting the back, back plate on, it was the other way around. So when you see this, it's going to match this way. The holes. It's going to sit in place nicely and beautifully. But before that, we're going to put this thing in there. Yes. Which is going to give a little bit of extra strength to our GPU, support it a little bit more. Okay. So there were these two fatter screws here. We're going to put them there. Okay. I'm not going to tighten, it, tighten all the screws now because I'm going to be tightening them later. Okay. Another screw goes there. which holds the back plate and this thing together. Okay. And now we're going to put the little screws that we had earlier. One there, 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 and that's it. There's only four of them. I don't have a very good magnetic screwdriver, so... I'm not tightening the screws really hard. I just need them to be screwed in enough so it can hold the the back plate. The back plate did not have actually any uh what do you call it? It didn't have any thermal pads behind it because there are no memory modules there, but some manufacturers still put them to transfer to help with the heat transfer basically. Okay, now I can tighten the screws a little bit more than what they were originally tightened. Good. One more in there. It's there. Um, you could cut these things, you know, like to the actual size of the memory module, but, you know, I'm kind of lazy, so it's not worth it. Yeah, this whole thing's assembled together now. Let's apply some thermal paste here now. I have the Arctic MX4. You could use those Grizzly 
the pastes which are better. It's kind of hard to actually do it in front of a camera because I need to look through the camera from time to time to make sure what I'm doing is good. So I'm going to use uh, something to basically flatten this. I'm going to try to use this, maybe this piece of plastic to make sure that all of the dye area is getting the paste it deserves. Don't worry about it looking a little bit messy. Once you close the whole thing, it's going to actually apply pressure on it. We cleaned this thing too earlier. So, but before we do anything, I just need to put the fans back in place. Yeah, fan connector is in place. And we're going to put this stick back, this thing back on to where it was. And try to apply a little bit of pressure. Don't worry. A little bit of pressure is not going to cause anything for this thing. So, now it's in place. Oopsie. There is a little bit of pad stuck in there. Uh, doesn't matter if it's not going to come out. It's not going to do anything with my application. So we're going to grab these four big round screws that we have in here, which are going to be helping contacting the heat sink and... Okay, I'm going to put it there and then try to tighten it. But I will not fully tighten these screws. Just enough that it's holding the heat sink. Because I want to apply even pressure. Try to go like a zigzag kind of a thing, you know. Okay. So you can have an even spread of the paste. We're still adjusting the board a little bit as we are tightening the screws a little bit. Just to make sure it's going to be an even spread of the paste everywhere. Okay. You're going to apply a little bit of pressure here. A little bit of pressure there. Okay, good. So this whole thing is seems very secure to me. You can see the pads that I put in there, right there. Yeah, which looks good. You can see the pads on the other side as well. Yeah, that's nice as well. So we still have two more screws in here, the longer ones that we're going to put there. Oopsie. I'm going to see if I see any changes in the temperature. Uh, the core temperature shouldn't change much because the thermal paste was actually fresh. Uh, I did it like a few weeks ago. So probably we'll see better junction memory temperature. This little one that's different from all of them goes there. Okay, all the screws are tightened, and here we have our last screw, which goes there. What it? Yeah, it's the same size, anyways. Oopsie. Yeah, you need to apply a little bit of pressure. Ready to go in, I guess. Just a moment. So, this one went there, the one that had like a spring in there. And the other one that had a washer goes up there that is different from all the other screws. So, our GP is done. I'm just gonna clean it a little bit here, you know, just uh, give it a little bit of a good to go. 
it seems good it looks good i hope that it works well because i bought the right ml uh, millimeter size of the pad so mm i'm sorry but anyways thank you for watching if this was helpful uh give me a thumbs up and i hope you guys have a good day i'll update you with the results